All right, we want to begin with that breaking news um, as another potential battle for Speaker of the House unfolds. Last hour, Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene filed a motion to oust Speaker Mike Johnson. Today, I filed a motion to vacate after Speaker Johnson has betrayed our conference and broken our rules. The clock has started. It's time for our conference to choose a new speaker. So her action came right after the House passed a bill to finish funding the government and avoid a shutdown. Now the bill heads to the Senate, who has until midnight to keep the government open. That vote uh, sparking fresh tensions within the House Republican caucus, which had more members vote against it than for it. Uh, this new threat, it's coming just over five months after Kevin McCarthy was removed as speaker. NBC's Ryan Nobles is reporting on Capitol Hill for us. Also with us is Sam Stein, deputy managing editor for politics for Politico and an MSNBC contributor and former Republican Congressman Carlos Corbello of Florida and MSNBC uh, political analyst. Ryan, start us off. What happens with this motion to vacate? Well, at this point, it's just a threat, Yasmin. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, did not make it uh, privileged, which means that it doesn't have to necessarily come to the floor at any specified amount of time. It basically means that she has it there. It is filed with the clerk. When she believes that it's time to make a move, uh, she can do that. It, and this is basically her way of telling Mike Johnson that you're on notice, that I'm unhappy with the way that this spending negotiation went down. Uh, and I would like you to see, I would like to see you change course. Listen to what Greene said uh, after she filed that motion. I filed the motion to vacate today, but it's more of a warning and a pink slip. I do not wish to inflict pain on our conference and to throw the, throw the house in chaos. But this is basically a warning and it's time for us to go through, through the process, take our time and find a new speaker of the house that will stand with Republicans and our Republican majority instead of standing with the Democrats. Now, part of the reason uh, that Marjorie Taylor Greene may not want to put this on the floor yet is because she may not have the votes to oust Speaker Johnson. Uh, most Republicans have said that they do not want to go through the drama uh, of that uh, speaker removal like they did a couple of months ago. And furthermore, there's even the possibility that some Democrats may come in uh, and provide the level of cover Mike Johnson needs to keep his job. For instance, I spoke to Tom Swazi, a Long Island Democrat, who told me today that he would vote to keep Mike Johnson in office. Uh, for Johnson's part, he is trying to just brush this all off. His uh, spokesman, Raj Shaw, said in a statement today that Speaker Johnson always listens to the concerns of members, but he's focused on governing. He will continue to push conservative legislation that secures our border, strengthens our national defense, and demonstrates how we'll grow our majority. So the one thing we haven't talked about yet, Yasmin, is that they did pass yeah. this spending plan, which means that they will likely avoid a partial government shutdown, but uh, no good deed goes unpunished. And, and Speaker Johnson uh, facing the wrath of his caucus as a result. We, we thought that yeah. was going to be the big news today. And we are going to get to that, Ryan. So just keep that in your back pocket. Yeah, yeah, any, yeah. any chance, though, Ryan, that Speaker Johnson could actually call Marjorie Taylor Greene's bluff here and bring bring the motion to the floor for a vote? I doubt he would take that risk, at least not at this point, because, you know, the margins right now are so small between Republicans and Democrats. It wouldn't take that much. Uh, to topple him uh, from office. Okay. And if Marjorie Taylor Greene can convince just two or three of her colleagues, she may uh, be able to do that. So I, he'd prefer to not have to deal with this at all. So just let it sit there, uh, let it be the threat that it is and see what happens over the next couple of months. We have some breaking news now on Capitol Hill. That is Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, who has officially filed a motion to vacate the speaker. There's a one member motion to vacate. That would seek to oust current House Speaker Mike Johnson. Let's listen in as she explains her rationale. All week long, do not break the 72 hour rule. He heard from all of us. He heard from all of us all week long. Allow us to introduce amendments. Allow us to do our jobs. Allow us to represent the districts that voted for us and sent us here. We want a secure border. And the, and the Senate proposal of legalizing 5,000 people coming across the border every day is not securing the border. And this is giving up every point of leverage we have. Also, forcing Republicans to vote on full-term abortion funding in order to fund our military is a complete betrayal of all of our values. And our voters don't want us to be doing that. What does that process of the speaker look like? When do, you, when do you plan to call this resolution to the floor? 
Again, I don't have a timeline. Um, that will be a rolling issue that we'll be judging um, and making decisions by. But I assure you, it's, I'm not the only one. I have support on this from others in my conference. And, and it's not, I'm not introducing this to throw the house into chaos. Committees will continue doing their work. Investigations will continue. Um, I support my conference. Again, I have paid all of my dues to the NRCC and then some. Support Republicans holding the majority next conference, but we need a Speaker of the House that knows how to negotiate, knows how to walk in the room, knows how to hold the line, and knows how to defend America first and the values and the policies that President Trump will bring. What? The, what? Next. What? What? the vacate's already been filed. No, but no, but already been filed. He should not, he should not bring funding for Ukraine. Just to clarify, thank you. Sorry, in the back. Thank yeah. you. You are saying you will call for this vote, or are you saying you're still? Cons I know you said no time. I'm saying, saying that we've started the clock to start the process to elect a new speaker, How and, and I'm yeah. I'm giving my conference time. I'm being respectful to okay. my conference, but many members in my conference agree. Even though it's uncomfortable, it's a process none of us want to go through. So, it has to happen. So, so, so I'm going to be teaming with Democrats as well by ousting the Speaker of the House, just like Speaker Johnson did in teaming with Democrats to pass the government funding bill. Uh, we have to find a new Speaker of the House. I'm not sure how that vote count would be, and I'm, I'm, I've heard a lot of Democrats may support him, so I'm not sure how that if works they, out. Do you worry that you're basically pushing him or, or any new Speaker into the arms of Democrats? Because, like, at a certain He's point already that, in the arms of Democrats, and the, it's, it's proof in the vote count today. This was a Democrat bill. This was not a Republican bill. We weren't of, allowed to introduce amendments. We weren't allowed to have a say. We weren't even given the, the respect of the 72-hour rule to read 1,012 pages. So you think it, was, it would be better to shut the government down then? I mean, you were up against the clock. Would it have been better to it shut It would have been down? better uh, to, back in October when he became Speaker to have actually worked on appropriation bills, stayed with... With, uh, single appropriation bills and done what all of us had set out to do. You were listening there to Marjorie Taylor Greene, who has filed a motion to vacate against Speaker Mike Johnson. Mike Johnson uh, would need to maintain the support of his caucus to remain in power if she makes this live. Now, she has to announce this and make it live. It's been filed. I understand these, these rules are a little wonky. But essentially, Mike Johnson could only afford to lose two Republicans. That's after today when Ken Buck leaves. And Marjorie Taylor Greene there making some news. She said this, I have support on this from others. So others, that presumably means one, which would mean a motion to vacate if she truly has the votes, would in fact oust Speaker Mike Johnson. Again, she has to make this live. There's a two week break coming for Congress. And in April is when this would all transpire. But Green, and what the big takeaway I think for our audience is that right now, this is just a threat. Yes, she filed a motion to vacate, but she has not made it privilege. It's not live yet. She gets to decide when she wants to do that. If it does go live, then the House would be forced to take this up in a matter of two legislative days. That wouldn't happen until they come back from their Easter break in the next two weeks. Better speaker, um, Eli Crane also earlier this morning had some pretty tough words for Speaker Mike Johnson saying that the gavel is essentially in the hands of Democrats. Now, Bob Good, again, the chairman of the House Freedom Caucus, um, it sounds like no one was really aware that this was going to happen this morning. He told our cameras uh, right as it was happening that I'm not he said, I don't know anybody who cares about what Marjorie Taylor Greene says. That's from Bob Good. So she's going to get a little bit of pushback from her own caucus on this. But again, we're just waiting to see if she actually will make this privilege. And then we go right back to last fall where this conference has to look for a new speaker. Wow. Uh, unbelievable. It would be unprecedented to have two yeah. House speakers ousted by their own caucus. Thank you very much, Aisha. We are seeing yet another tantrum by a tiny faction of that conference that is disrupting the entire machine that we just exhaustively waited for to get back on track. And here we are again, watching someone steal the time, steal the audio, steal the limelight, steal the attention, 
She says we should have our attention on the illegals streaming across the border on a million other things. No, our, our attention was on you while you gave a presser. I'm sick and tired of it. As a Republican, as an American citizen, I want them to get to work. I love Speaker Johnson. Who would be better than him, MTG? What is your plan? And I don't want my legislature taking two days up to vote for that, to figure everything out, to look incompetent during a presidential election year. This is the last thing I want to be subjected with. This is, uh, it's frankly, at a minimum, it's disappointing. There's a great irony here, Carly. As I'm listening to Marjorie Taylor Greene, I hear her say, there's a video that everyone is focused on. That video is of illegal immigrants rushing our border. It is a video about six minutes ago we were set to play. It is a video that you're not seeing right now because instead we are talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene. It raises the question, she didn't make this live, so nothing happens for right. two weeks. Mm -hmm. Is this a fundraising exercise? So you can go back to your district for two weeks and fundraise off of it. What's the motive here? I get you're not in her head, but what's the motive <laughs> about this? Uh, Mike Johnson is not, what did she say, an arm of the Democratic Party in terms of <laughs> no, policy. Right. He is a strong conservative. No, I think what's happening with him, I think anybody who becomes House Speaker, it's a, a very big challenge, especially when you're dealing with such a slim majority, and he, he wanted to avoid a government shutdown. And now look at what's happening. And all they have to talk about right now is, is potential government shutdowns. It's not getting anything done because they keep kicking their speaker out. They, they are a caucus in chaos. And this, the majority is very slim. Democrats overperformed in the midterms. Republicans only won the House by a few votes. And right now, sitting here, this is more Republican chaos. That is a terrible message for government and the American people. And